Israel Tucker's come back in the ballgame as a running back. That's Harris in motion. Here's Smith wanting to throw. Rousseau got to him, but he cut it loose. And wide open is Tucker for the touchdown. We're going to get to Corey Couch, the freshman from Fort Lauderdale, in that spot. Intercepted. And working his way back upfield, Gilbert Frierson. And Frierson at the 30 and down to the 28-yard line. And ball got juggled around and then it looked like Couch picked it up. He's looking for the lateral. And it looked like he handed that ball off. First off, it's a great read by Frierson to be able to pick this ball off on the screen. He makes Jamar Smith, breaks that tackle, then cuts back. And then... Oh my gosh, he did. Three receivers and a tight end for another first and ten crack. Perry tries to spin it and it's picked. And that is Aaron Roberson. This is kind of the season that could have, would have been. Yep. It's a team that was 8-1 with an opportunity to go to the Conference USA Championship game. They suspend Adrian Hardy, J. Marsh Smith, who gets in the end zone here, and they lose those games, but able to cap it off. So Smith does score in his final collegiate game. Here's Perry on what likely is the final play of the game. Nikosi going to sail it for the end zone in the corner. And it's broken up incomplete. The ball game is over. Skip Holtz gets the shower. Louisiana Tech wins their 10th. We've got our first shutout in the history of the Walk-Ons Independence Bowl, and it's done by the Bulldogs from Ruston, who beat Miami by a final of 14 to nothing.